Hello, this is Martin Brossman and Colleen Gray. How are you doing, Martin? Great, great. I want to talk a little bit about some tips in this challenging time from our both many years of experience in social media, web marketing, digital marketing, paid per click, Facebook ads, all of the above for small businesses right now. Yeah, it's a very tough time for small businesses, for most of them anyway. They really need to figure out a way of working around their standard if they can. Like for instance, the restaurants that are doing the takeout and delivery and they're actually walking it out to your car or uh, doctors and psychiatrists and, and those folks, uh, if they aren't already on medic, uh, telemed, right. you should you know, hop on that and make, take advantage of that because their patients still need them, especially like counselors and psychiatrists. Absolutely. And one thing I want to say is get your face on video. Don't hide behind your brand. I mean, I took a picture of the Indian restaurant I go to, go to, and it was, it's a, a family that runs it. The son is mentoring under his dad to get, uh, to be the master chef there. And he was so excited to have the video. He wanted to get a copy to reuse it. Well, the, the statement is he needs to make some. This is a great time to tell his story. This is a great time to tell their family run business. This is a great time to say, look, you know, we're actually personally delivering things and here's how we keep cleanliness up to make sure it's safe and getting to your house. If you let us know, we'll set it on the porch and so forth. This is not a time to assume they know. Oh, exactly. This is not a time to hide behind your brand. Get your people out front. It's your greatest competitive advantage of a small business. And for you, Colleen, for example, if they have a car wash, let's get ads in the zip code around it or a restaurant or something, a paid ad targeting the zone with information and education. Exactly, exactly. And let them know when you make these changes, you definitely have to let everybody know. So you do that, like you said, via video social media, ads, whatever it takes to get that information out there so you're still bringing in income and keeping yourself moving. Another important piece is they don't need every piece of data you get on the coronavirus. They yeah. need hope, they need yeah. distractions that are constructive, they need stories, they need something to take their mind off right. the blanketing fear of the major media. Right. In fact, uh, I'm going to give a little note to the major media. I need you to be the news and stop giving me commentaries. I want to know what's actually happening. That's called being the news. And this is for all of you. Locally, uh, we have some good information where they provide what happens first. Remember, right. if it's, if you put dramatic titles on it, it's not news. <laughs> okay, so that's a yeah, tip exactly. for listening. Yeah. So filter some of this. Right, right. It definitely, definitely. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I'm here to help any small business I can with ideas on how to get their information out of what they're doing and, and if they're open or how often they're open. Um, like the stores today, um, I, I got a thing through on Facebook, but I, I didn't realize that when I called, uh, when I looked up Whole Foods, they have it right now on their thing that says from seven to 8 a.m. is for seniors. And that's great. You can look it up and find it. But the only way you found it out was by looking up on computer. What about the seniors that don't have computers, right? right. So you got to take every avenue you can to get that, that information across. Well, that'd be a good example to put something on Instagram, a little video of the owner talking about it, explaining it, getting it out there. And, and if, I do want to say, Colleen, you're, you're available for hire for either doing it for them or hire, teaching them how to do it, whichever they want. Right. And you can do it remotely just as we're doing it. You see here, uh, yep. I've moved from almost all being in person to being able to offer training online like this, as well as taking my coaching clients that are local, my coaching clients that are local and being able to meet them over Zoom. So utilize this time constructively. And this is very important. Another thing they can do, Colleen, is just write reviews online of the favorite small businesses. Don't just think of their own small business, help their others want. If they got a great experience from someone, they might have some free time. Let's get those reviews online too. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that, that, that will help the small businesses now, but also in the future when things pick back up. That'll yeah. help them pick up. 
and and if you if you have some some news like you have to completely shut down and you've had to lay off 50 percent of your employees don't hide that knowledge tell them that you have a plan you're coming back here's what's going on give them an update there's so many small places that have had disasters and they hibernate and they don't communicate. They don't want to show anything negative online. This is called mortgaging your future. Make the emotional story so that they care. You have a real one. People are connected to these emotional stories. Hey, you know, we had to lay off 50% of our employees. If you have any needs for them, let us know. We'll find out if you if we're, we're, we, had to, we had to completely close our store, we plan to reopen. Here's how you can keep up with us. Here's what's going on. Don't right. be afraid of sharing some of the dirty laundry. This is intrinsic. This is story. As long as you have a commitment and you communicate of your plan, all that has meaning and speaks to them. Or just tips. You know, if they're, if they're for example, if they have a museum and the museum's closed right now, Share some of the little pieces of the museum, the history. Again, we're looking for good news. We're looking for healthy and constructive distractions. You want to be that media. Don't wait for the media to reach you. Be the media, which I said in a speech, I think, close to 10 years ago. Yeah. And many still are waiting for someone to come and give them news or save them. Be right. the media. We have the tools to do it. Exactly. Exactly, Martin. That's exactly it. Colleen, I want to take a moment and, and let you state what you do as well. And I want to hear from other businesses. So tell them what you're doing and how you're available through this challenging time. Well, right. I've had a lot of my clients come to me, Martin, and they want information posted on their website as to their hours, change in hours or temporary closures. Um, and so there's been a lot of that back and forth. Uh, a lot of adjustments in ads, whether they're uh, kind of taking them down because they don't have the income coming in like it used to be, or whether it's just they, they can't do the work because of the restrictions now. So I'm here to help businesses just get that information out, whether it's through their newsletters, whether it's through social media, um, whatever way they can work it to get their hours out if they're open, how they're staying open, what, what you need to do to get a hold of them. Um, and, and just help, you know, disseminate that information all, everywhere. For example, if they're a chiropractor or a doctor, they could send you a video and you could upload it or kind of make it a little prettier. This is very important, especially for doctors to be in communication. This is when people need to hear, well, you got some tips, you got some information. A chiropractor, can you give some things they can do at home? And right. then say, look, we schedule so that we have enough space in our office, so there's there's the appropriate distance for people come in. We're very attentive. We have, you know, UV generators that kill the virus. I don't know. Whatever it is, you can right. share share that information. Yeah. Let people know about it and exactly. personalize it. Get out there and talk about it. Right. Exactly. I agree, Martin. Excellent. And for me, I'm offering uh, coaching and training over the web, which I've always offered. It can be. I generally use it over Zoom. Skype has been up and down a little bit right now. And thanks to the Zoom people on that, I also offer training for groups of up to 100 right now and talks uh, directly from my home studio here. In fact, today we're having the 10th social media management certificate program and it's coming right from here. We did a hybrid one last uh, Monday, where we tried a few people in class and there were more home than in class. Then mm -hmm. we got the okay, they could get credit remotely. And so right at the current plan, we're going to finish out the classroom version, kind of I call it Hollywood Squares here as one mm -hmm. of our plans. So share what you're doing, connect to people, don't isolate, don't stop learning, don't stop sharing. Again, if it's critical and you think they need to know it, it's okay to share, but most of the people are getting the latest uh, scare information from the major media. They need local data on what they need to do. The truth is we need to starve this sucker out. I, I want to tell one thing, Colleen. I talked to my general practitioner. I said, I've got a metaphor for this. Tell me if this is at least close. And I said, we're, for, I said to the doctor, 
uh, Dr. JP, we're the food. Is that right for the virus? And go, yeah. oh, that's one way to think about it. Then our goal is to starve that food out so it doesn't have a nice place to grow and mutate and be far worse. And right. she said, that's not a bad uh, you know, analogy to state. So that's why anyone who's not uh, isolating themselves and not getting involved with others, you're just creating a great bathing place to actually hurt other people and to actually help this thing breed. Yeah. And so, and I know it doesn't breed. It, I understand how viruses work, but this is just a metaphor. And why this was useful for me, Colleen, is if we do this, we starve it out. It has an end point. Now, other changes can occur, but this actually, the more we work together to do this, the quicker this is going to pass so we can all get back to business. We can all get back to work. And the, and the last piece of it, request your media to give news. News is accurate description of what actually happened first. Commentary is the two cents that I really don't care about 99% of the time, unless it's a doctor explaining what's going on with something. So request yeah. your media to do that. Yeah, do you remember the days when media used to do that? The front page would be news, and then they have a commentary section for the yes. paper? Yes, I do. I grew up in Washington, D.C., and we actually had news at one point. Yeah, you, know, where yeah. you could read what actually had. three people were hit by a car. You right. know, commentary, angry man slams car into people. That's called commentary. That's not right. news. So, right. yeah, make requests of them. You're home anyway. Yeah. bug them a little bit and also want to thank local media i think they do a much better job as well appreciate them and last colleen i really want to thank all those yeah. people that have to keep working out there the the first responders the police work with them don't make their life more difficult this is right. scary for them too you think a first responder is excited to go in he knows that the mass may not be enough or she to protect her or a nurse work with these people and make their life easier and appreciate them right now. It's a right. good time to do it. Exactly. So that's what I got. Uh, Colleen, I'll let you have the last word and how they can reach each one of us. Okay. Um, well, this was great, Martin. I appreciate it. And um, actually, like I had said to you, I just kind of did a blog similar to this. Um, hopefully, you know, everybody, cause I know it's easy to feel bad and stop, uh, stop motion, but don't, don't keep going, keep going, think of different ways of keeping your business going or helping others. And that definitely will get us through this. Um, but I can be reached, of course, at boomerang-social.com, my website, or my phone number 919-858-6122. And again, I'm willing to help anybody out with just simple answers and questions. And if I can do more for them, that's great. And of course, you're invaluable in my business and that you can reach me by actually contacting Colleen at <laughs> Colleen at MartinBrossman.com or 919-847-4757 because she does marketing and really also I got you early when you were still managing just people. <laughs> so the, and I'm not letting you go on that. So thanks for all that you do for me as well. This was oh, great. You too, Martin. You do so much for everybody. So thank you.